Today we're at the South Carolina Military Museum in Columbia, South Carolina. We're gonna go look at all the military history that South Carolina has. Good. This Medal of Honor. Black beret and decorations belonging to Chief Petty Officer Elliot Williams was the most decorated Navy enlisted man in history. He's got a Medal of Honor, Silver Star, Bronze Star with V, two Purple Hearts, Archon with V. Look at that, huh? And this is the South Carolina Wall of Honor. Let's see if we recognize anybody. Ah, General Miss War uh, Westmoreland, I know that name, from Spartanburg County. And these look like Medal of Honor recipients from the state of South Carolina. This is pretty cool. This is soldiers and statesmen of South Carolina. This looks like from the Revolutionary War. Yep, this is the American Revolution. So see, these are some of the, uh, look at those, look at those. Those, see the ones with the stars on them? Yeah. They, they look like in there in gold or green. Yeah. Those are all places that we have to go. We went to Utah Springs right there. We visited Utah Springs. And there's a lot of other places on there. Holy mackerel, Musgrove Mill, Black Mingo, Tearcoat Swamp, Blackstock's Farm. We went to a lot of those places already. Look at these cool swords and guns and muskets. Look at that, look at that cannonball. See that 12 pound cannonball? cannonball. That's yeah, but it weighs 12 pounds and if that hits you going a couple hundred miles an hour, but it's gonna leave a mark. And these are from, Let's see, they got a bow and a halberd, a couple halberds, Spanish armor, look at that. Interesting, a lot of history here. It goes all the way back. What do we got here? Ooh, these look like two cannons from the USS Georgiana. Here's a history of the first and second South Carolina state flag. And it says that the palmetto, which is the difference here in the two flags, is the symbol of the sable palmetto, which was used to construct the log and sand fort to defend the British bombardment of Sullivan's Island. Hmm, interesting. And here's some officer gorgets. Very cool. Oh, this is about Thomas Sumter, AKA the Swamp Fox, one of the prominent generals during the American Revolution for the Patriots. Look at these. These are huge. Can you imagine these hitting your house or your castle? Look at these look like bullets. Musket bullets. Wow. Ooh, what's this, Ireland? What's what? What's this here? A Western saddle. Oh. Oh, Western saddle. Well, I think this is a battle saddle. <laughs> and here are some more uniforms for some of the different eras of soldiers who fought. Here's a German artilleryman's uniform. Ah, look at this. And then here's, looks like uh, Spanish American War and then the Mexican Expedition War. And look at all these cool old rifles, buddy. See them? Yeah. Sharps carbine. Ooh. Look at that. That's supposed to have been the most accurate rifle ever. Are those spurs? So those are spurs, yeah. Spurs. Yeah, look at that old revolver, buddy. Ooh. Shoot the rifle, and then when they got close enough, they'd take the bayonet and they'd jab it into you. That was called hand-to-hand -hand combat, and that's close a, combat. That's old money. Yep, that's some old money. Sometimes. That's pretty neat, huh? They got some goodies here. This is the model 1840 Grimsley saddle, which was used by the U.S. Dragoons. That's pretty nice. Looks like we're making our way into the World War II era. 
National Socialist German Workers Party uniform. This is from World War One. Look at that. Wow, look at that rifle. Look at that, ever look at that trench knife. See that big that big long one? That's called a pioneer bayonet. You don't want to be stabbed by that thing. Nope, sure wouldn't. Some more cool stuff. What do we got? Oh yeah, look it. They got the daggers and swords. Number three is the Luftwaffe dagger. Wow. A Walther Pister pistol, sorry. Those knives are those daggers are cool. Wow, 1933 dagger, those are pretty. Look at that. Look at there's a Thompson gun. See that, Everett? Yeah. Yep. And then see that one with the bullets coming out of the top? Yeah. Yep. That's called the the M1 Garand. When when the bullets were out, it would go ding. And look at that. That's called a bar. Yep. Browning automatic rifle. Look at that. I think the 503rd. Is that the 503rd? I think they trained at Tacoa. A little battle scene going on from World War One. Okay. Do you remember when we were in um, Verdun and we walked through those trenches before we went to that really old fort? Remember? Yeah. These were the trenches that they were in. You don't remember that? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. Remember the trenches that we walked through and then we went to that old castle them. that had been fallen? I would buy those toys. This is what they used to fight in. They used to fight in these trenches. Is it, I, I, thought, I remember they were called like bean bags or beans. And those are called sandbags. Like other sacks. They're, yeah, they're full of sand. Wow, look at all these old rifles. It goes right through history. Look at here, here's the Revolutionary War. Those are powder muskets. And then the Civil War. Wow, this is neat. And then the 1800s. Ooh. And to the end of the 19th century. Rattlesnake patch. That's pretty cool looking, huh? I like that. Okay. Oh, look at here. You wear that? Yep. Kinda. I did wear. I wore that one too. That's how long I was in. I wore that one, and that one, and then the new one. Even more rifles. Wow. Oh, machine guns. These are cool. Looks like we're getting into the Air National Guard stuff here. I would buy that. That's an F-16, huh? I would buy that if that was a toy. Yeah, I'm sure you would. I don't think parents will trust kids with giant planes. Nope. Look at all these planes. P-51 Mustang, the Invader, Shooting Star. These are cool looking airplanes, huh? Look at these bombs that they used to drop and missiles they used to fire. Wait, Look how big the bullets were they shot. Is that bombs that work? No, it's inert. Will they drop bombs? Yep. What does that mean? Inert means it's not live anymore. <laughs> Look at these cool airplanes. They are really neat. I would buy a toy. That's an F-16. I would buy those. Would you? The Starfighter. That's a cool name. Starfighter. The Delta Dagger. It sounds like Starfire from the Teen Titans. Right here. They're on the placard. It sounds like Starfire oh. from the Teen Titans. Yep. Oh, look at that. These are all models. You can actually buy them and put them together yourself. Can I buy one? Maybe. Uh, are you going to put it together? You get that one right there. That one. That's a big one, yeah. Look at that. You have These to are put cool. it together or are they already put together? No, you got to assemble them with glue. See, see, some of these right here were the ones that were outside. You know what? Your mommy used to drive one of those. You know what I want? I want these bags. And one of those. Don't see one. Yep, your mommy used to drive those. Look at that, buddy. Look at this cool cannon, huh? That's neat. And here's some more. A fortress gun. Wow. Look at that. This motorcycle tank. Look at this is a tank motorcycle. This is cool. Oh, it's a mannequin. Wow. Here's radio equipment. Look at the radio equipment, Everett. 
Seriously. You, you are? Seriously. Oh, look at this. This is a Schwimmwagen. Is there supposed to be a door right there? Nope. Imagine flying in the sky there's not a door. That's, they didn't used to fly very high. See, look. This is what, and then they used to hook up, um, they used to hook up, uh, oh, look at that one officer rank. That's cool. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. How, did they, like, how did they find this? Uh, they probably had it in some storage container waiting. But they used to put um, things on the bottom here. Yeah, they had to get this removed before flight. Yep. And they, used to, they used to pick up people that were wounded here, too, with hey, these things. Sergeant from my new queen. This is a pretty cool looking truck, huh? Yeah. Yeah. This one, too. That one's neat. Yeah. With the big 50 cal on top. Wow. This is, I would, I would drive this right now. That's pretty cool. Look at these old snowshoes. This is the 118th. Most of the vehicles you see here are from the 118th Infantry. And they fought in, look at this, they fought in Northern Ireland, Scotland, England, and France. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I don't think it's money. Money. This is like a campaign map of the Operation Desert Storm. That's pretty neat. Huh? Yeah, yeah they did. Why did you know? They sure did. And then here's CJTF Phoenix I think it's cool in Afghanistan. Like coming out of like the back of the guns right there. Oh yeah, that is cool. Yeah, that's cool. Imagine just that's pretty out. neat. Just the mock-up of an Afghanistan convoy. I would build this. See that truck exploded. By and then the other ones are pulling security. Five and twenty-five. Look at those houses. Look at this is a cockpit of an Apache. Isn't that cool? Why does that fly? Yeah, this is the cockpit of a huge helicopter. A gunship. Isn't that neat? This looks like it's almost the end, guys. That is a cargo net. You used to, you used to put these up over your stuff so you couldn't see it from the air. Yeah, I've rolled a many, many of those, I can tell you that. You roll them up and put them in storage. And they are heavy. It looks like a dog tag maker. Oh, what? You know the, the tags that you wear around your neck? Oh, like this a, is, I thought it was like a dog killer. Like no, a dog tag. It's like someone's dog. Dog tag maker. Are these to kill dogs? No. Here's an old machine gun. Belt fed. That's so cool. 30 caliber. Mm -hmm. That's look at that's the tail fin of a Probably a helicopter, maybe? How did they get that How did they get that sign? Hey, somebody made it. Look, it's got all the bullet holes in it. Look. Huh. See that? Yeah, it's like on this side. That's because that's where the bullets went in. No, 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 no. I don't mean like that. I mean like this. Oh, that may be where the bullets came out. <laughs> wow. Look at these big guns. Look at that thing. Look at those big boys. Look at those big, big boys. Wow. 50 caliber and a 20 millimeter. Look at big baby. That's a big gun. You know what that was for? You put your shoulders in there so you could it wouldn't so it wouldn't uh, shoot, jolt you back. Yeah. Isn't that cool? You just go. This is the very first Gator. We used to call it an M Gator, but this is called a mechanical mule. Marine Corps, Army, Vietnam era. Very neat. This is called a Lark V. Lighter amphibious resupply cargo five ton truck. Wow, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. yeah, they could drive this across water. It was like a boat with wheels. Isn't that neat? This is a self propelled amphibious mortar carrier. It was used for close indirect fire and support troop transport. See, look. This is where the people got in, right here. Yep, this is the hatch. They'd climb in the hatch and then they'd sit in the back. This was the commander's vehicle. You know how I know? Because it says headquarters six, and that means it's the commander's vehicle. What does that mean? I don't know what that is. But look up here. You can't, I don't know if you can see it, but that's where they used to look out and see where they were driving. Yeah, but they had no windows. That's right.
This looks like sort of the same thing, and it's got a 50 caliber machine gun on top. Wop, 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 wop. Yeah, it is, huh? Yeah, look at that thing. It is metal, but it's hard. Those are huge. It's not going anywhere. Woo, look at that baby. It's a big tank, huh? Yeah. Me. This is a, an artillery piece. Oh, yeah. And see this thing, buddy? Look. See, they used to put really big shells in there and they'd shoot them for miles and miles. And I think this, they would put this down, right? Yeah. And that way, when the, when the big gun shot, the, 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 the track wouldn't move. It wouldn't go backwards, so that was like a that was like a stopper. No, not a seat. Nope. We're kind of restricted by some barbed wire here, but look, we got some helicopters. That's a Kiowa. They don't fly those anymore, and that's the Huey. And I'm pretty sure they don't fly those anymore either. I've actually ridden in one of those babies. <laughs> so what'd you think, buddy? Loved it. You loved it? Should everybody come to the South Carolina Military Museum in Columbia, yes. South Carolina? Yes. All right. Make sure you check it out, right, buddy? Yes. Get your knowledge. What do you say? Thank you for watching. Get that knowledge. <laughs>